Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi from out there. <laughs> Sorry, I hope you don't mind. I already got on the bus. I picked my seat. I picked the front seat because I want to I wanna see out the window. Yeah, we're here with we're here at the Frizz today. Our guest, our guest on the stream is is Miss Frizzle. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Gamma and Scorp. Hope you're having a good win a good Wednesday. Holy shit, it's only Monday. And you know what? You know what Monday is? It's field trip day. So we're gonna go on our little trip. That's right. We're hopping on the magic school bus. We're gonna we're zooting around. Oh shit. Here we go. Here we go. Us and the Frizz. We're gonna go on an adventure today. So I hope you're ready. Everyone, pile in, pile in. Do you have your pencils? Do you got your backpacks? Pack a lunch. Here we go. Alright. <laughs> I had such stupid fun doing this thing like Five minutes before stream. Sorry. Here I go. Wee, wee. <laughs> Time to go on a trip. Oh shit. But yes, we're going. We're going on a trip on the magic school bus today. Um, we're doing. I don't remember what it is. I think it's something to do with animals. We're gonna be going on a safari today. Uh, I don't remember what it actually is. It's just a bunch of animals. We're going around the world. We're gonna learn about animals. And um, then if we get done learning about animals we will return and we will finish read a rabbit but today i wanted to i wanted to start off with some different i feel like we shouldn't have done we, sh we shouldn't do read a rabbit twice you know back to back so you'll we'll cut it up with another cool educational game which i don't think i played this one before uh, i played one of the miss frizzle magic school bus pc games i believe uh, it was the dinosaurs one? Question mark. I think I remember it being the dinosaurs one. So this is going to be one that I have not played. Can't believe. Oh shit, that's right. That's right. They did kind of get, yeah. Yeah, they were, uh, <laughs> they were salmon eggs, right? They were fucking fertilized. As a salmon egg, if I remember right, they like had like a whole like fish episode. Yeah, that one's weird. Miss Frizzle, Miss Frizzle took their kids to some fucked up places. I still, I'm still not over the human body one. That one was still weird and gross. Yeah, lots, lots of strange adventures here for the Frizz. Oh shit. Uh oh, we're really in it now. Yeah, hope, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, there was another thing that I was going to talk about before we got started, uh, and I almost distracted myself and forgetting about it. Let me really quickly. Let me bring up a. Uh, let's see, a window capture real quick. I'll make sure I'm actually on the right window. There we go. There we go. So I recently found a uh an archive.org collection of let's see 1157 different old educational and instructional VHS tapes let me show you what i mean let me show you what I mean. This is just a small portion of all of these VHS tapes. There's some really good ones in here. Uh, we got, I mean, at the very, at the very, very top, we're starting off strong with how to strip for your man and law enforcement guide to satanic cults and how to have cyber sex on the internet. Really good start. Uh, but my personal favorite might have to be, where is it? Uh, how to be cool at parties. Definitely interested in how to be cool at parties. There is, what else do we got? We got some nature stuff. We got some, 
Oh, there was, oh, what's her name? The dump cake lady, she was in here. There's some infomercials. There was the family guide to the internet. That's a really, really famous one that's on here too. We got cooking, yeah, cooking videos. Uh, a is for Adam, B is for Bomb, which also sounds incredible. Cats, it's all good. So I think if this is something that you guys would be interested in, I think I want to do a stream sometime where all we do is we peruse through this section of videos and we pick some out that we think are interesting and we just watch them. We just make a day out of watching old, probably incredibly out of date, instructional and educational videos from the 80s and the 90s and early 2000s. Because there is, there's quite a lot to pick from here. Hello, Lita. Welcome in. Yeah, we got, we got Power Rangers Karate Club, Internet for Beginners. I'm so excited, man. Also, just like a ton of aerobics out, like workouts. So much aerobics. Julia Child. Yeah, we got a lot to go through here. But this is a, a beautiful collection of old uh, educational VHS tapes all uploaded here for our viewing pleasure in this one big collection. So hopefully, if that sounds like something you're interested in, I would love to go through some of these with you at some point. I definitely want to set up a stream for that as well. So hopefully, if that sounds cool, uh, we'll do that sometime. How to spot counterfeit beanie babies? Oh man! Hi. Oh man! Hi, chatty buddy. Um, yeah, we will. I, I would absolutely do counterfeit beanie babies. Some of these I can't. I can't do on stream. Although, uh, how to have cyber sex on the internet from 1996 is very tempting. Super fucking tempting. But sadly, uh, I don't think we will be doing that. Maybe that'll be a private viewing, but yeah. How to have cyber sex in 1996. I don't know. I, I, I would, <laughs> we can't, I, we cannot learn how to have cyber sex in 1996. Maybe, maybe someone here already knows how to have cyber sex in 1996. Uh, but un we will, can we cannot learn together. We're going to be doing different learning today, which is going to be magic school bus related <laughs> and a little bit more PG. But yeah, there was, there's some interesting shit right at the top there. There was, uh, yeah, how to strip your man in death of a porn queen. So, uh, obviously a really primo collection of shit. But yeah, we're doing Magic School Bus. So let me, let me swoons on over to the other screen and get me out of this goddamn bus. Hold on. One second. Hey, oh my, okay, hold on, that's right, I'm very small and very tilted. Very small. Very tilted. Okay. Okay, we're good. Wait, am, am I still crooked? Am I crooked? I think that's better. <laughs> I'm still very small. Oh, I'm so little. All right. Perfect. Perfect. So. We're back here again. I am going to, it's, it's fucked up and not in the thing, but it'll resize itself once we get into the actual emulator. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to hop into my Windows XP machine. We're going to play some Magic School Bus. It's going to be great. I think, I think the uh, full theme song is at the, at the beginning so we can jam along to the School Bus theme song. Which, by the way, when I was when I was making that dumb fucking gag at the beginning there with the stupid magic school bus, I had to wade through so much like new reboot magic school bus stuff. Let me get it. It's gonna it'll resize itself in a second. So ignore it floating outside the the TV's borders. But man. 
man, I, I, I didn't, I don't even, I haven't even watched it, so I can't even, I can't say that I hate it, but man, I do not like the way the new Magic School Bus looks. It just has that fucking soulless anim children's animation style that I just do not enjoy, but no matter how hard I tried, I could not get it out of my fucking search results. Ah, it's it explores the world of animals. That's it. That's it. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we can do. Hopefully we can resize this or run it. There we go. Okay, yeah, it it did the thing. There you go. <laughs> it's too much polish. It looks too clean. Miss Frizzle doesn't look like Miss Frizzle anymore, and that's the problem. They they unfrizzled the frizzle. And that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Okay. Here, yep, there it is. No way! Look at this early fucked up CG. <laughs> oh, frog bus. I love frog bus. Loud. Okay, she got very loud. Ready to play. Okay. <laughs> the intro was very quiet and Frizzle was very loud. I'm actually doing more kids adventure games. Kids adventure games is like half of my channel. That's like almost all that I do <laughs> is 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 children's entertainment. Type in your name and click the go button. When I you're promise ready I do play. other stuff, but it, I'll be I'll be real with you. It's mostly children's entertainment. Okay, we have to type in our name. Keisha was a real one. What was your favorite child in the Magic wow. School Bus? Pure wow. I'm trying to think. I think mine was maybe... I think I kind of liked Arnold. <laughs> he was a little... He was a little baby. And he was kind of a bastard. But I, I maybe... I kind of liked Arnold. He was a shit. Carlos is pretty good too, though. Then away we go. I brought snack money for a field trip to the wild animal park. Oh, okay. It's hard to believe that Frizz is finally taking us on a normal field trip. The way I see it, that remains to be seen. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Now here comes the pointing and the clicking, my favorite part. Maybe Miss Frizzle forgot about our trip to the wild animal park. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. What's the drawing kid's name? Oh, this kid? Oh, fuck. We just had a big introduction. I forget. I forget. I mean, I know Ralphie because he has a big R on his front, like his shirt. So that's easy. I think Ralphie, Phoebe, Keisha, Arnold, Carlos. I don't remember these three children's names. Dee Dee? Is one of them named Dee Dee? Maybe they'll tell me. I can't wait to go to the wild animal park. I want to ride an elephant. No, they will not tell me their names. They are not Pokemon. They will not repeat their names to me. When it's garbage night and the trash goes out. I have an alarm clock that wakes me up in the middle of the night. It's a raccoon who thinks our garbage is its gourmet meal. Wow. 
Yeah, that's right. Ralphie did take his fucking helmet off in space. And Miss Frizzle let him do that. So, I mean... Wow, they have a lot of, uh... Wait. They have a lot of uneven, uneaten apples in their fucking lockers. <laughs> Everyone's just leaving apple cores in their lockers. That's not sanitary. Wow, that lion's teeth look awfully big. It's a good thing, too, since he's a carnivore and needs strong, sharp teeth to eat meat. I... I kind of got... I got... I got little teethies. They're not... <laughs> They're not as big as a lion's, but there they are. Tim? His name is Tim? Okay. Tim, Wanda. Oh shit, now I remember her name is Wanda. Tim and Wanda, and who's the blonde girl? What did you say her name was? Dorian? Dorian? <laughs> Wait, what's her name? Dorothy Ann. Oh, fuck. Okay. D A shit. I okay, I think I misremembered it as DD. I was close. Okay. These are my pet goldfish. Fastball, shortstop, and slugger. Tim, Wanda, and Dorothy. All right, I'll try to remember the rest I of them. I did my report on crows, one of the noisiest birds in my neighborhood. Next to the blue jay, that is, who is the crow's cousin. All that cawing must run in the family. Birds, by Carlos. Oh, shit. A report that is really for the birds. Or about birds, that is. Want to find out about them? I would love Click to find out about birds. What makes a bird a bird? Oh, this, this is, is a bird. I would love to know. And this is a bird. <laughs> and this is a bird. If Behold, a man. One thing all birds have in common, it's feathers. In fact, they're the only animals that have feathers. Birds also have hollow bones and very light beaks instead of heavy teeth. And why do you think everything about them is so light? So they can fly. But not all birds can fly, like this big <laughs> ostrich and these penguins. This fucking cartoon but runs down the back. All they have to do is flap their wings and take to the sky. You never watched the Magic School Bus? If you can find the OG series, they did a reboot and it looks kind of like shit, so don't watch that. But if you can find the original series, it was a really, really fun, really fun series. Even as an adult, I bet it would still be really enjoyable. Ow! Who? Who? Who finds its prey by using its hearing? The owl. Owls like this barred owl. Look at this really sharp looking ears directly into my ears, soul. Which are hidden by feathers, cover the entire sides of their head. Ow! And when owls fly, they are totally silent because they have fluffy feathers and comb-like edges on their wings. That way, they can hear their prey instead of the flapping of their own wings. And how about those eyes? I love this PowerPoint presentation that he's put together. Owl's Thank you so much, Carlos. So that on a moonless night, owls can see as well as we can on a cloudy day. Is there more? Oh no, it's just one. Birds. Birds. Bye, Carlos. Bird B. Birds can't use okay, their wings Okay, everyone, you, oh, you should be writing this down. There will be a themselves. test. So sometimes they use their beaks to do the job. This penguin is using its beak to feed its baby chick. When you take a look at a bird, you can also tell what it eats. Shorebirds, like this black necked stilt, have long skinny beaks, like tweezers, that they stick into the mud when they look for worms. Flamingos and ducks have beaks that work like sieves. Oh my god. <laughs> the water runs out and I love look stays in. I love looking at baby birds, man. They are so fucked when up. When mother and father birds feed their babies. And take a look at this hummingbird's beak. It works like a straw, letting the birds sip nectar. Baby from the birds flowers. are like the definition of scrungly. They are so gross. <laughs> they can be cute, but they are also so gross. And yes, I do remember in Parta. Amphibians and reptiles by Ralphie. Click on a picture if you want to find out about slimy and scaly creatures. Anyways, it's a shame that birds aren't real. 
what is the difference between an amphibian and a reptile? I would love to know because actually, uh, there the is. What's the difference between an amphibian and a reptile? I I took like a whole fucking I took a whole course on this. Eggs in the water. Frogs and salamanders need to stay wet because some of them actually breathe through their moist skin. Reptiles like this lizard don't need to stay I got to like send I got to see this information is covering is their it true? Bodies, and the scales help to keep them from drying out. Reptiles like turtles and lizards lay Yo, that the is land. So do snakes. That's the whole turtle ass. And even some kinds of lizards don't lay eggs at all. Their babies come right out of their mother's bodies just like mammals. All right. All right. Slimy and scaly I need to know babies. slimy and scaly babies. This mother frog's tadpoles were born underwater. In fact, most amphibians like frogs and salamanders lay their eggs underwater so that their eggs don't dry out. Look at them go. But once they're grown, you can find amphibians anywhere. Even oh, he's, gliding he's from so trees, moist. Like this flying frog. They're all so damp. <laughs> Reptiles, on the other hand, like iguanas, skinks, and turtles, lay their eggs up on the land. When the babies hatch, their scaly skin keeps them moist, even in the oh, desert. Oh, baby. I do love baby turtles. They are really, really cute. Okay. Oh, do we get to learn about scorpions? Scorpions are really awesome. Look at how they glow when you shine the right kind of light on them. Rhines, hello. Welcome, welcome. We're learning about animals. I, you know what? I could guess that, um, that, what, what's her name? D.A.? Dorothy? I could have guessed that Dorothy was a horse, a horse girl. She looks very horse girl-esque. My report is on domestic horses, which means horses that are tame. Are you not going to tell me about it? According to my research, <laughs> horses are ungulate, which means they have hooves instead of toes. Okay. Oh. Arnold. It is, did Arnold do hamsters? I did my report on my hamster, Scruffy. Scruffy is a rodent and is related to mice and rats. But I don't hold that against him. <laughs> uh, I think Arnold's the best. Scruffy has the fattest cheeks I've ever seen. That's because he's got pouches in there to store food. Kind of like sticking a sandwich in your pocket and saving it for later. There is a picture of a cat up here. Who, which, which one of these developers' cats is now, this? there's a cat who's oh, really has kittens. paws full. Can you tell how many kittens she has? Oh, that was really cute. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Bone Show. Call me Bones, Sherlock Bones. <laughs> I see you've discovered a pile of bones. Yeah, I, I discovered it. To. I definitely, I definitely, it was like this when I got I here. Say. <laughs> you need to finish putting this animal skeleton together. So, have at it. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I gotta enter the bone zone real quick. Oh my god, I'm, am I recreating Miss Frizzle? Wait, is this gonna be Miss Frizzle? Oh Jesus, is this her skeleton? That I've just destroyed? Oh god, it is! Oh my god, it is! Fine detective work. Case closed. Shit, Miss Frizzle died. I'm so sorry. This is this is her the whole time. Liz! Okay. What pet is always found on the floor? I don't know. What? A car pet. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm not clicking on Carlos again for the, the rest of the game. I've never met an animal I didn't like. Except for the time the bus shrank and we got eaten by that tuna fish. You and me both. Hey, that's that's what we were like talking about before. I don't a tuna fish sandwich anymore. That's what you were talking about before. This is That's when they got fucking fertilized by like this... I guess it was a tuna, maybe. I 
did my report on my kitten, Mitten. She is a domestic cat, which means she's tame and she's a pet. But she's related to wild cats all over the world. What's my favorite Magic School Bus episode? Ooh, okay, hold on. I have to think about that because it's been a minute. Um, I think there was one where they did, like, light. It was, like, the different wavelengths of light. And, like, they, they were riding on the different wavelengths of light. If I can remember that one correctly, I think that one was pretty good. I, I, I mean, it's one that I very distinctly remember. Mine was the theater episode. I don't remember the theater episode. I remember... What else do I remember? I remember the one where they went into the body. I remember the one where they went to space. Let's see. I have to think about that. It's been a while. I have just one pet, and you can have a whole farm. These are my ants, and they are amazing to watch. You know what? Good, good for you, girl. Ant farms, ant farms are pretty cool. What else we got up here? Butterflies. This cool skull. Report is on invertebrates. Oh, invertebrates. Oh, spiders. About animals without backbone. Click on a picture. Is that said about light bouncing off things using reflectors? Okay, all right. I yeah, that's definitely one that I I remember at least vividly enough to like kind of get the premise down. I just remember they were riding on like wavelengths. Like, fuck yeah, dude. Spiders. Spiders like this hairy tarantula have fangs and eight legs. Oh, I guess like spider alert in case anyone like really fucking hates silk. spiders. All spiders are carnivores. Some hunt down their prey by jumping on them on the ground. And some, like this one, wait in their web. Bam! Moth dinner. Or she can wrap it up with her silk and save it for a midnight snack. I did just recently watch this video. It was so fucking cute. It was like this little girl. She was probably like only like eight years old. And apparently she was like obsessed with jumping spiders. And they got her a little jumping spider and it's like a little cute habitat. And she was so excited to get this itty bitty teeny jumping spider. And it was so adorable. It was so cute. It was like, it was so small it could fit on your fingertip. It was adorable. And she was so excited about it. Is this sharks? This is the report no, fish. on fish. By me, Keisha. Want to dive in? Just click on a picture. Uh, I guess I could I could have clicked on their book reports and I could have learned all their names. Which one did Arnold the do? The report I did is on Indeed. This is the report. In all I Arnold did insects. <laughs> if you want to find out about the world of insects, click on a picture. I want to learn about what's an insect, please. What is an insect? Some crawl. Some fly. But all have antennae and six legs. So what are they? Insects. Creepy, crawly, camouflaging insects. Some insects, like this dung beetle, are huge. Well, there he goes. Some are so tiny, you need a microscope to see them. The one fact that bugs me about insects is there are more insects in the world than any other animal family. I like insects as long as they are not like in my general vicinity in my home. Then we have a problem, but you know, if we're just kind of chilling outside, fuck yeah. We love insects. I see a mouse. Oh, <laughs> oh I gotta, okay. I gotta do the one on rodents. rodents. Look at this fucking Monsters little guy. Like this little mouse are rodents. Look at this little dude. Rodents, like Yo, it's bark. the big rat. Huge. So what makes both of them rodents? It's their teeth. Look at them on this beaver. All rodents have big front teeth called incisors. Two on the top and two on the bottom. The curious thing about rodents' teeth is they keep growing and growing and growing. So rodents like this porcupine chew on hard things like nuts and wood to keep their teeth sharp. 
And it's a good thing they do, because without all that gnawing, their teeth would grow right out of their head. I have seen that happen, actually. It's super fucked up. It is wild how fast things can get out of hand. If, if uh, like, the mice and shit do not actually wear down their teeth. It is insane. It's crazy what they look like. Okay. All right. We learned about some animals in the classroom. I think it's time. I think it's time to get into the bus. Here's my clipboard. Now, where is that net? There it is. We need a net at the wild animal park? Change of plans, Arnold. I got a call this morning from my friend who runs the park, Ms. Eddie Malia. There's been a mix-up. Four animals from the park were put back into the wild, but uh -oh. they were sent to the wrong habitats. That uh -oh. sounds dangerous. Someone should catch those animals and put them back in the right places. Excellent idea, Keisha. Class, it's time to take a field trip to the animal habitats across the world. Yes, we're making Just these the fucking ten-year-olds we'll catch the wild going. animals uh, with I our bare hands. I should have stayed home today. Class, keep your eagle eyes open so you can be <laughs> effective detectives. <laughs> Bring the clipboard, Liz. We'll need it to check the identities of the misplaced animals. Let's take chances, make mistakes, and go exploring to the bus. To the bus. We're about to take off on the wildlife ride of your life. To make it official, you need to make a quick stop at the this Department guy? of Driver's Licenses. Oh, I get to make a driver's license. To drive, <laughs> you need a driver's license. Yes. Click on the ladybugs to choose different features for yourself. Oh you my can god, add okay. Skin colors and textures by selecting the buttons on the leaves and then sliding the parrot up and down the vine. I mean, we then already kind of got the tusks, perfect, right? Click on the back arrow and we'll be ready to roll. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, my. <laughs> oh. oh, this is already insanely cursed. Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? Look like that, you'll blend into any habitat. What is that supposed to fucking mean? Oh, my. I need, I want to go, yeah, let's go back to the weird veiny tusk. Wait. Whoa! Whoa! Mama Mia, motherfucker! Okay, hold on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I was gonna say I want to try if I can like make me, but there's no pink. I guess this is this is the lightest pink we got. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's face it. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you think they have an option for three eyes? They got a triclops in here. Oh no. With a look like that, you'll blend into any habitat. With a look like that, you'll blend into Oh, what habitat. happened here? Did they get stung by six bees? With a face like that, you could calm any jungle beast. I'm glad that Miss Frizzle's being so supportive, but this is a monster. Oh, my! Okay, huh, there was one. It's the true face of a wild driver. Yeah, you, you bet. I'm going with this one. I'm going with that one. With a look like that, you'll blend into Wait, any surely, habitat. surely they have a bunny nose, right? Oh my god, oh shit, gay rights! Okay, never mind, we're changing course. We're, we're changing course. Whoa, hold on. Oh, they got the horns too. With a look like okay, that, we gotta go with the horns. Any habitat. With a look 
Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, fucking howdy. Okay. It's the true face of a wild Yeah, that's That's me. I think that's me. I think we got it down. I still didn't I haven't set up my printer. I could print this out. No, my print. Oh, damn it. Okay. All right, I'm done. I'm done. How do I save this creation? Use this clipboard to get clues about the misplaced animals. NFT creator. Holy shit. Miss Frizzle was ahead of the game. There are four animals to find that have been sent to the wrong habitat. Here are four new clues to get you started. These tools will come in handy in your investigation. If you want to know more about them, just click. I mean, no t shit. All right, who wants to buy it for like ten million dollars? To the back of the bus. There's gadgets and. Whoa, there's, there's so much shit back, back here. I have only one rule when you're in the back of the bus, and that's to have fun. Okay, hold on. Before we go and like do something else, what is all of this? What is all this? Time to take chances and get creative. To oh, it's more shit that I can put in your habitat. First, you have to go back into the wild and find some. Click on an animal out there, and it shows up in here. Oh, fuck! I have to find things for my pictures. Okay. To morph or not to morph. What? That's never a question in my class. Because as I always what? say, to know an animal is to be an animal. Are we animorphic? My class learn what it's like to be an animal. Take chances, experiment, go wild. Just click on the arrows to pick a kid and an animal to morph together. Okay, so I only have Tom and Phoebe to choose from. But I can choose between pig, bear, bat, Salamander, grasshopper, I have so much. I'm turning into a mouse. What do I what happens? Oh no! Oh my god, no! No, no, no! <laughs> this is a horrible. <laughs> Hi Shadala! I'm so sorry you had to see that. Turn her into a bear. Oh my god. It really is just animorphs. Oh, that's so fucked up. Oh no. Okay. I think that's enough of that for now. I need to collect more children to use in my fucked up and vile experiment. It's the plastic fantastic experiment machine. As I always say, the best way to learn is to experiment, make mistakes, and get messy. Oh, Miss Frizzle, we're already pretty fucking messy. What is- oh! Crab fight! Crab fight! Crab fight! In the natural world, it's often a fight to the finish for food. So some animals use armor to protect themselves, like this snail and crab. And who wins if you pit the crab against the snail? It's oh, hell crab. yeah! Hands down, who eats the snail? Because the crab's got the stronger shell. But here, you can control the thickness of the crab's and snail's armor, making it thicker or thinner by clicking on them. Oh my god, we're just gonna do animal fighting! what it takes to make the snail survive. Okay, we're gonna buff up this fucking snail and make this guy, uh, wimpy as shit. Now we have the crab with a light claw pitted against the snail wearing a thick shell. Death! 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 Bite their fucking face off! A draw! The snail doesn't have a scratch on it! Looks like the crab took a bit of a beating. And there's no snail dinner this round. 
Oh my god, I can't believe they're just letting me just hit animals against each other for fun. This adaptomatic machine lets you see how different animals have adapted so they can survive under different conditions. To see how cousins of your friends, the cat, dog, rat, and parakeet have changed to suit their environments, click on one of the animals at the top okay. and drag it into the chute. Want to try a different environment? I want to see what happens when I put a rat in the Arctic. I no longer what are these? A I spy a lemming. A lemming? Oh! He's hidden from predators in the frozen Arctic. In summer, his coat turns brown, once again allowing him to blend into the tundra. Cute. Okay. Welcome to the Gameatron, the master game machine, where you'll collect the games you play out in the habitat. You oh, can okay. No games yet. We gotta go collect some games. You know what that means. Let us, uh... Oh, God. Yeah, keep the tunes on. If you want to Here's my license, place, by the way. The I'm looking so good. Who are you? Weird Owl Factovich. And do I have some weird old facts for you? I Hello. love weird facts. You bet I do. Factorini one. Every oh. single mammal in the world, except for sea cows and swans, have seven bones in their necks. Even a giraffe and a mouse. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, let's... Pick your first destination for animal observation. Okay, all right. Important. Where do we want to go? That's where we are right now. Okay, so we have classroom. I guess a swamp. Desert. Brazilian tropical rainforest. Rainforest. Savannah. The African savannah. Circumpolar Arctic tundra and ocean. Arctic. Mountain. The Himalayan mountain. South An island. Pacific island reef. Uh, I want to go. Let's go on a savannah. savannah. Aren't there lions in the African savannah? Oh shit! Oh yeah! Look at that! Should've Fuck yeah! Cheetah day. bus. Ah, the African savannah. It must be the rainy season, and that's the reason the grass is long and green. But come the dry season, that grass will turn as brown as the fur of a wildebeest. We have company. Or more precisely, I think we're the company. Let's go outside to have a look around. Look, the inside of the bus now has spots. Okay, it's time to step through the door and start to explore. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so many animals. Um... What is this ancient, like, relic? Huh? Want some animals to put in your habitat? First, you have bones. Oh, we're doing more bones. Today. Oh shit. Okay. What you can make of this I'm putting this giraffe These back together. Rough one. Rough, rough. Oh, I have no fucking clue where this thing goes. What is that? Oh, it's a chess piece. Okay. Hips? Nope. Nope. I'm bad at I'm bad at giraffe anatomy, apparently. A giraffe skeleton. Elementary indeed. Congratulations. Case closed. The cheetah is the world's fastest animal. I love For cheetahs. Short sprints, they can go 70 miles an hour. Because they have long legs, a flexible spine, These animals should not be this close to each other, by the way. If this Rabbit guy was hair. on the freeway, he'd get a speeding ticket. Have I heard of Tome? No, I have not. Okay. Hyena! Hyena well, just pissed! The spotted hyena is called the wild Wait. dog of the savannah. Dee 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 Mm, true? Nope, false. He may look like a dog, but you can't judge an animal by its cover. The spotted hyena is actually a cousin to the mongoose. Hold on, when you... When you hover over the hyena, it hisses. Hyenas should really be called the thieves of the grass. Okay, well, it did it once. Even though they hunt on their own, they're also big-time meat-stealing carnivores. So if you're a cheetah diving into a big, juicy dinner, watch out. 
That cute little spring hare looks like a tiny kangaroo. It's, it's named a after a chill, rabbit, cute adventure about being fish a giant stuff. Mouse. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably something I'd be into. What do we got? Uh. Do you know why jaguars have spotted coats? Jaguar. They help to camouflage them so their enemies don't spot them. Now, if it were me, I'd like to use them to connect the dots. Wait, oh shit. I can... What? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I did not realize how that, that was going to be. Use this microphone to listen to some of the sounds the animals make. <laughs> what sound do you make, zebras little bit? Zebras roam the plains and eat the no, tops wanna... of the grass. Leaving the bottom tender part for the animals. Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Viscera, hi. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my god. Can I get a shout out for Viscera, please? If I have a mod in chat. Hello, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Thank you so much, Whisper, for the raid again. Uh, my name is Callie, if you don't know. I am a vaporwave jackalope. I am going to be your, your personal assistant for the evening, and tonight we are going to be doing some education. So hopefully everyone brought your pencils. I hope you packed a lunch. I hope you're ready to learn, because we're going on a field trip with Miss Frizzle. And uh, we're learning about some animals right now, so hopefully you like to learn about some animals. We're just chilling with some some children's entertainment. So a pretty big tonal shift to whatever Viscera was doing, I'm sure. But welcome on in, and thank you again, Viscera. I appreciate it. Is this it? It it is it. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you so much for sticking around, Blend Dad. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing, uh, VOD. What was this one called again? It's the Magic School Bus. It learns about animals. We're learning about all types of animals. Right now we're in the savannah. But yeah, we are. Oh, hold on. Let me go back to the bus real quick. You want to see me? If you want to change your face, this is me. <laughs> this is the place. This is me. This is my, uh, I tried to get it as close as possible. I promise. It's very close, as you can tell. As my great aunt Doris once said, you always learn more if you walk through the door. So true, Queen. But yeah, we're, we were just learning about some animal facts when you came in. I was trying to learn what some animals sounded like. It was not letting me. Uh, you can also catch the animals, which I'm not sure is kosher. If you spot an animal that doesn't belong in this habitat, Click this net on it, so we can send it back to its proper home. Okay, I gotta... <laughs> Shady Cat, thank you so much for the follow. I gotta figure out which one of these animals doesn't belong. Um, okay. Scientists think zebras have stripes because when the zebras stand in a group, all those stripes confuse their predators. They don't know where one zebra stops and another one starts. Okay, which one of you fuckers don't belong here? Uh... No, the snake belong- the warthog, definitely, for sure. Maybe- Flamingo? Flamingos are the most colorful birds in the savannah. No! No, the flamingos are in the flamingos savannah. savannah. Home, the lucky bird. Which one of you is- Okay. No, it's you not this guy. It's not the zebra. The it's- of big mammals because Is it the they bunny? Want a free ride because they're trying to keep their Hi, feet Chen. Or because they think the animals are a chain of fast food restaurants. It would have to be the last one, Tim. Yep. They like to pick ticks off the animals' backs and call it dinner. I'm and gonna just start swinging reason, my net. You win a free beak full of bugs. Oh, on. Am I getting like signals? Is it the rabbit? Is it the rabbit? Spring hairs dig burrows in dry, sandy dirt. No. Just like the dirt here in the savannah. No, which it one of you? Like spring hair is already which home. one of these is not like the other? This bird? I guess maybe you all belong. I guess maybe some of them don't have out of place animals. Liz, what are you gonna say? 
Liz? Well, I guess Liz doesn't belong. It won't let me catch Liz. That's a shame. Here I am in the African savanna, among the animals that tend to eat each other. I have a sinking feeling I should have stayed home today. I think we should throw Arnold to the lions just for fun. Wanda here, reporting on mammals. Just click on the picture to check it out. What is a mammal? I want to see this cute. I think it's a, a baby wolf. A no, it's a fox. It's a cute little fox. Like foxes, ah! and seals, and zebras. <laughs> mammals come in all shapes and sizes, from little to giant. Oh damn! Some bear fight! Land, Holy some shit! Some live in the sea, but no matter where they live, all mammals breathe air. When mammal babies are born, they don't hatch from eggs. They're born live right from the mother. I was talking mammals about this before, but really I I fucking love babies, cheetahs so much. They feed them milk. I love cheetahs Just so like much. Cheetahs. You know how like a like, you know weird little girls always have like some sort of animal that they get really into as a kid. And like most of the time it's like horses or like uh, wolves or dragons or some shit. I was a cheetah. I I was a cheetah girl. I also liked the cheetah girls <laughs> as like the band. So it all kind of worked out. Welcome to Big Game Tag, where the game is to tag animals who have something in common. And how do you tag them? By clicking on them before they duck out of sight and before you run out of tags or time. But be careful, because not all the animals who pop up and down match the category. Okay, okay. let's start tagging. All right. Rodents are small mammals with nine front teeth that keep I got this. their entire lives. So keep your eagle eyes open and get ready to tag the rodents. I'm ready. I'm ready. That's a bear. It's a beaver. I, I think that's a rodent. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that was. Great job. You tagged the rodent. Because rodents have teeth that grow all their lives, they know on food to keep them trim and sharp. Next category coming up. Now Let's go. we're ready to tag the water animals, the ones who live in and around water. Here they come. Is there a speedrun category for this type of thing? I think I'm gonna... What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. What even was that? No? Okay. I feel like some of them kind of live near the water. I don't even... A mink? What the fuck animal is that? <laughs> Stop giving me this animal! Stop giving me pandas, too! Wow. You tagged animals who live in or near the water. According to my research, animals who live in or close to the water have special adaptations for swimming and breathing, like webbed feet, fins, gills, long legs for wading, or noses on top of their head. Okay, here comes another category. Animals who sleep in the day and are up and active at night are called nocturnal. Have get you ever looked into how beavers grow animals. in our form? Huh? Oh, nocturnal. Uh, raccoon. Oh, teeth. Oh, shit, teeth. Okay, that makes way more sense. You tag nocturnal animals. To help them get around at night, nocturnal animals have special adaptations. I was like, what's so like fucked up about how beavers are like noses. developed? Ready to try Teeth makes much category? more sense. Let's do it. Animals who have hooves, like <laughs> horses, are called ungulates. Now see if you can tag these hooved animals. Oh, the ungulate. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, sick. Oh, sick combo. Tagged the hoofed animals. Hoofed animals or ungulates are all plant eaters. Next category coming up. Reptiles have scaly skin and are cold-blooded animals. Get ready and see if you can tag. How long does this go? Do I get? Do I get to win? Do I get something if I win? Oh, oh, oh shit! I, what? What? Huh? I was like clicked out of the window. Fuck. No. Where are all my reptiles at now? Stop getting me horses. Okay, cool. No. Oh, okay. Stop getting me horses and rabbits. Thank you. Enough. Excellent. Boom. You tagged the reptiles. 
Most mother reptiles lay eggs. Okay, I feel like this goes on forever, but hey, we, we learned some things. Like, um, I don't know how to identify animals. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, I don't see anything wrong with the savanna so far, so we are going to... Fish? I guess, I mean, there, there's fish in the savanna. Take chances and get messy! That's a cichlid fish. There are lots of different kinds of them in African lakes. They used to be all the same fish, but when droughts made the lakes dry up into lots of little puddles, over time, the fish living in the different puddles changed and became new species. All right, not not the fish. We'll come back to the savanna later. Maybe. Here are four new clues to Oh, we have started. clues. Remember, there oh are shit. Habitats to explore. This one's a mammal, not covered in fur. It travels on four hooves with his herd. Okay. I don't know. Is that you cheating? A destination for Should I not be using hints? I shouldn't. This is like a game for two-year-olds. Let's go. Oh, we are going to Brazil. We are every single one who came in with this raid. Where you're fucking going to Brazil. Maybe I can see what it's like to hide in an <laughs> You can't leave now. Welcome to the Brazilian tropical rainforest. It's a jungle out there, not to mention a soaking wet one. So don't forget your hat. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, who do I start with? You, possum. Peekaboo. Whoa. Did you know opossums are one of the oh, holy shit. in the Americas? A marsupial means the mother has a pouch for her babies to live and grow in. That's not right. That ain't right. I think it's a tapir? That taper looks like a There pig. we go. According to my research Carlos, Wait, this is probably a capybara though. At all. They're relatives of horses, zebras, and rhinoceroses. Their face is looking a little funky. The capybara is the biggest. Oh, I, yeah, I guess it is. Cousin to Arnold Tamster. And big enough to eat Arnold Tamster. Maybe. But just like Scruffy, the capybara is a vegetarian. How about monkey? Oh. Oh. Talk about a wake up call. The howler monkey is the loudest land mammal in the world, and he makes sure everybody knows it. Every morning and evening, he says it loud and says it proud. I'm starting to realize I might actually need need the hints. I don't know which one of these animals don't belong in Brazil. That bird looks like it's ready to take off. Entirely possible, Ralphie. Blackburnian warblers leave the rainforest every spring and spend their summers in the northern U.S. and Canada. They fly about 7,000 miles. Whoa, and I thought my arms got tired playing basketball. So cool, Ralphie. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay, this isn't doing anything for me. What's this? Whoa. The baby anaconda and the Whoa! Baby no, that's Snake so rough. In this game of swinging snakes. Keisha's going to need help to get to the I don't like that the they river. keep turning the children that's into animals. Where you come in. When you click on the snake holding Keisha, it will pass her to the next snake. You have to make sure the next snake is close enough to catch her, otherwise Keisha will fall in the water. Don't worry, I can swim. Hey, it's your wet snakeskin, Keisha. And if you need some help along the way, just click on the question mark at the bottom of your screen. What? What? Oh no! <laughs> that is this fucking nightmare. Oh! I cool. hate that. I don't know how much more I could do with this because this is so fucked up. I said before, but I love you. I thank you. you try this sometime. I appreciate that. Okay, I, I cannot do that. I can't do that anymore. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet. Oh god, which one was it? It was uh, this one? Yeah, do we have any more children? No, it's just these two. 
Uh, speaking about Animorphs, look at what happens when we do this. That's fucked up, isn't it? That sucks. <laughs> this bird has like a, a fucking a 60s housewife haircut. Just remember, yeah, someone pointed out before. Just remember, someone had to do the in between frames for these. Just so you know, if someone could maybe, if someone could clip some of these and go back and like capture the freeze frame of the middle part of the transition. I bet they look super bad. <laughs> like, this dude's about to turn into a, a, a grasshopper. What is he gonna look like? Bad. He looks bad. He looks so scary. Oh my god. Where shall we go? There are seven habitats to explore, so try as you might. You won't find a misplaced animal in every place you visit. Not every zone will have an animal that doesn't call okay. it home. Maybe this one does, or maybe it doesn't. All right, I need another hint. Look for a mammal who's short, not tall, snorting and grunting. That it's called. Snorting and grunting. Wait. And they said it was on all fours. We're looking for a pig. North American Desert. In my old school, we never went to the Sonoran Desert. Oh. Well, at least you won't be able to say that. I new remember school, her. I at my old school. Cactus. That means we've landed in the North American Sonoran Desert. And as I always say, if you can take the heat, get out into the desert. <laughs> Okay, all right. Oh my god, is this a jerboa? According to my research, the kangaroo rat no, never it's a kangaroo ever drinks rat. water. It gets all the water it needs from eating dry feed. Is this woodpecker where it's supposed to be? That's suspicious. Send this Gila woodpecker to another habitat? That idea is for the birds, because I happen to know it belongs right here in the desert. Damn, okay, all right. You didn't like Phoebe? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Lum Kitty, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it so much. Hello. Hi, raiders. My name is Callie. I am a vaporwave jackalope and a purveyor of all things retro children's edutainment, which is what we are doing right now. <laughs> we are we are currently playing the Magic School Bus Explores Animals. We are, we are learning about animals today. And uh, I do this type of shit very often. So if you enjoy uh, retro games, older, especially older children's entertainment. I do that all the time. If you want some Clue Finders, you want some Pajama Sams, I'm, I'm your gal. Hit me up. But right now, we are we are learning about some animals in the American desert. And I hope that your stream went well, by the way. Wanda here. Report well, come on, on in. Sometimes called the desert raccoon. Kawatamundis are part of the raccoon family with an awesome difference. Instead of having a big bushy tail, it has a skinny prehensile tail that it uses to grab things. Carlos is sitting very carelessly close to the scorpion. Meet the tiniest owl in the world who lives in the biggest cactus in the world. Elf owls live in holes in saguaro cacti. <laughs> is it just me or is anyone else rattled by rattlesnake? It's not just you, Ralphie. Rattlesnakes are venomous snakes. And if they sink their fangs... It went well, but your meager lost the ability to save your game. Oh, great. oh you shit, that sucks. You're so. 10 hours into it. Oh, fuck. That's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that sucks. K 
Can you believe it, Ralphie? The Spadefoot Toad spends 10 months out of the year hibernating underground. I hope that you find a way to keep saving that game, because that's going to be tragic if you have to lose 10 hours of progress. These snakes are always on the hunt for food in the nooks and crannies of the coral reef. You don't Sometimes belong here. Doesn't sound too bad to me. Small fish, shrimp, and crab. Only difference is, I like mine cooked. You don't belong here. For human survival. On the nose. That sea snake certainly doesn't belong here in the dry desert heat. So where do you suppose this slithery creature goes? Uh, South Pacific. You go in the ocean. Bingo! Yes, you got it. That's the home of this sea snake. Send him back. Hey, you were correct. This is. Oh, it's it's oh, kind well, of a retro point click. Celebrate! It's time for destination migration. My old friend helicopter is standing by. We sure are pointing and clicking, and it sure is from like 1998. <laughs> there he goes. South Pacific Island, where the ocean water is warm and blue. Bye. I mean, I do a bunch of this stuff here. I just, you, let's see. Sleuth. Actually, what if we finish this today and we still have time. Oh, oh, I got another one. Its proper habitat, you've earned the honorable Nature Ranger Scout Award. If you'd like, you can pick hey. it up to remind you of your noble deed. Unfortunately, I still don't have my printer set up. So no, I cannot print out my Nature Ranger Scout Award. Yeah, we're, we might be doing Reader Rabbit today. Um, Reader Rabbit Kindergarten, if we finish up with this one. I do all of the humongous entertainment games. Like, so much. I love them so, so much. We did Clue Finders. I I did a five-a-day adventures by Dole. That one was strange. Lots of weird educational games. Meet my buddy, Bob Cat. He, he wants to put on, His oh, mom didn't on the BBC Bob. micro. <laughs> he's named that because he's got a short bob tail. That's sick as hell. Oh, uh -huh. There we go. Click out of my window. The lesser long nosed bat. In baseball, I've used a long necked bat, but never one with wings who's got a nose like that. Besides, my bat isn't endangered, and this one is. Aww. Whoa! Welcome to the number one game show in the animal kingdom. Oh, it's shit. Scat Soundtrack. And oh, I'm there used to be two players Scott on this Steven. one? Who wants to play along? Before we get started, let's sign in. Will you be playing a one-player game? Oh my god, I actually could play game? along with somebody. Um, sadly, I, I do not have... A uh, nun friends to play with. One player it is. Okay, here's the poop. I mean scoop. We have three categories: scat, sound, scat? and tracks. Okay. You can click on one of the question cards under a category. Well, fuck. I guess I have to go with scat, it huh? Get it right, and you rack up the number of points on the card. Get it wrong, and well, just keep trying till you've cleared the board and racked up as many points as you can. All right, I am morbidly curious. What is under scat? In scat, it is. Ooh wee! I hope you know what scat is. It's all. Am I just gonna be? Oh wait, am I gonna be looking at pictures of poop? Hold on, is this gonna be? Is this allowed on Twitch? It, it's the thing we all do now. <laughs> Here's your question. Tell me for 20 points. It's scat, all right. Oh, okay. Here we can Phew. see grass blades, grains, and seeds, and a hint of flower petals. It's, it's just brown circles, like thank God. Anymore. Okay, which one of these animals poop the poop? I was for a second very worried that it was going to show me, like, a very photorealistic image of shit. Uh, I do believe that's the rabbit. It is rabbit poop. Congratulations. Now, let's go to another question. I uh, will do, you know what? Wait, we learned how to do animal tracking on uh, thinking science, so I should be able to get this one down pretty easy. Tracks, ah, yes. 
Let's see if as we long as it's a dog or a human behind. child. This one's worth 50 points. Who do you think left behind these tracks? Uh, that would be a lion. See? Yes, indeed. Those are the paw so good at this. of a lion. It's time to pick another question. Okay, and we'll do one from sound. I will do 30 from sound. Sound it is. We all know many animals communicate by using sounds. Now, listen closely and see if you can identify who made this one. This one's worth 30 points. Fine-tune your ears and see if you can identify Well, I think mine are big enough for that. Sound. Okay. All right. Now, not not a hard one. Sound the trumpets. You're right. That was the trumpet of an elephant. Time for the next question. I love this cool cat ass motherfucker over here. He's so he's so sick. Okay. Amphibians and reptiles. We already we already looked through Ralphie's homework. Okay, and we caught our we caught our uh, wrong creature here. So let's. There are we found one. Habitats to explore. To the destination for examination. We can find another. Oh, we can go to the the Arctic. That should be pretty easy. Oh, we can go under the water? Oh my god, Phoebe's, a, uh, Phoebe's an otter! I otter tell you that it's otterly fun to be an otter. Arr, 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 You're not supposed arr. to be here! <laughs> You're not supposed to be here! Here's the thing about this little piggy. It's called a peccary, and it can live lots of places in the world, as long as the weather's warm. Uh, well, we need to eat you the fuck out of here real fast. Outstanding deduction. This is hardly the place for a peccary to live. It's much too cold. So, where do you suppose its natural habitat could be? I don't know. Is it the savanna? The African, the African savanna. A peccary might survive, but it would be the only one there, and alone it couldn't thrive. How about the desert? Brilliant deduction. You figured it out. It's the desert. The Sick. It's the Sonoran Desert. Time to send that peccary back where it can dig in the dusty dirt. Ready, steady, go. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Fly that peccary to the Sonoran Desert where it's hot and dry. Thanks, and have a safe journey. Okay, goodbye. Sensational and inspirational. Just two more misplaced animals to find. It's the oh, sh enough. I need to set up my printer so bad. My wall could be covered with certificates right now. Damn it. Every single one of these old edutainment, like, edutainment games that I've played always has at least something you can print out at the end. And I don't know why I haven't just gotten around putting my printer where it's supposed to be. Oh shit, it's, it's the salmon. Not too many fish can do what the salmon does. They can live in fresh water and salt water. Having bad flashbacks from that one Magic School Bus episode? Check out that humongous fish. That's no fish, Ralphie. It's an orca whale. It's actually a mammal. It breathes air. It's warm. Blooded, I don't like the way it's looking it at me. It's babies. I think it's kind of. I feel like it's a. Uh, I ain't a Ralphie there. I think Ralphie's a little snack. Oh. Look at this cute little guy. There he goes. Okay. We otters may be the smallest mammals in the sea, but we sure know how to have fun. Playing is very important to us sea otters. Also, this game has such a weird thing about turning the children into animals. 
Wimbrels have the right idea. They spend summers in the Arctic. When things get too cold, they head south. Okay, I need to know what this area's name is. What's that penguin doing? Oh shit, it's Frogger. The pole? They live in the South Pole. I bet anything that penguin wishes he stayed home today. Well, little fella, I can't go home right now, but maybe you can. It's up to you. Start by helping the penguin jump from iceberg to iceberg by clicking on him just Wait, when there the was an actual in by. And there was a, a mini game like this in Club Penguin, wasn't there? And faster. If you need any help, click on the question mark. See ya. There was a video there was like a little mini game like this in Club Penguin and you're like a spy. <laughs> There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Perfect. I wonder what if I crank this up to hard. How hard is hard? I gotta know. Did Club Penguin rip off the Magic School Bus game? Oh my god. Controversy. Honestly, I have no idea. Which came first? Oh, you're not making me jump on the killer whales, are you? Surely you're not making me jump onto the killer whale. As a penguin, I don't think that'd be a very smart idea at all. And otters? I don't know. Trying to jump on the head of your natural enemies to get across? All right. Damn. Okay, one more. I did pretty good at this club penguin. I bet I could do it here. That club penguin's really hard. Easy. Easy. No problem. Victory! Game for babies. Okay. Habitats to explore. We got some more places to go. Let's go to the swamp. swamp. Aren't there lots of mosquitoes in the North American swamp? Of course, Otto. The frogs need something to eat, you know. So do the mosquitoes. And I have a feeling I'm about to be dinner. Say hello to the North American swamp, where the world comes alive at Oh, just put some bug spray on you, Arnold. The moon is full to bring light to these mysterious wetlands. What you really need to be worried about is the ticks. Um, oh my god, this is so fucking scary. Um, I don't like Frog Arnold. When did this come out? Uh, let's, I can check right now. Okay, magic Squad plus... Uh, 1999, so a little bit ahead of its time, I gotta say. So I think that's just a hashtag confirmed. I bet that snapping turtle has some sharp teeth. The snapping turtle, like all turtles, doesn't have any teeth at all. But its beak is sharp enough to bite through a human hand. That's terrifying info to just give to a child. That's a muskrat, and it's related to a beaver. It even builds its lodge out of sticks and leaves in the swamp, just like a beaver does. At my old house, we had a family of white-tailed deer living near our deck. White-tailed deer live lots of places. I gotta talk. I gotta US talk to Frog America. Arnold. Oh and man! I'm in love with a big bullfrog. A big bullfrog. That's me. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, this is so embarrassing. What? <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate your input. 
Arnold, he's trying, okay? Arnold's trying his best. Help Arnold gobble up those delicious no. <laughs> by moving him around the pond. All you have okay. to do is click where you want him to go. But watch out for those hungry snapping turtles. Oh they my god, I'm getting to I'm gonna get Arnold lunch. eaten by a if fucking really snapping turtle. Trouble, you can click on one of the lily pads and he'll hop up there. But be careful. He can't stay there for too long. Need help? Click on the question mark. Good luck. Oh. Why why are we putting this child in like mortal danger? Come on, Arnold. Arnold, eat it. Arnold, eat it. Oh, holy shit. Here goes nothing. Woo! Woo! Okay. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Come here. Eat it. Here goes nothing. This is horrifying. Oh, sh shit. Arnold. Evasive maneuvers, Arnold. Okay. All right. We're good. We made sure that Arnold was not eaten by a fucking snapping turtle. Good for us. What kind of bird was that? It wasn't a bird, Phoebe. It was one of my cousins, a gray tree frog. That's strange. Don't refer to that animal as your cousin. It's a good thing we're here this time of the year, because in the winter, the Perula warbler wouldn't be here. It migrates to the tropical forests in South and Central America. Okay, I don't see any animals out of place here. So I'm gonna say we're good for now. Where shall we go? Okay, we've been to Brazil. Brazil. The Himalayas. Himalayas. Is it just me, or would anyone else rather be going to a Yeah, a panda bus! Not just you, Ralphie. Like a little thin mountain hair to help me hit the high notes. Take a look at that. The Himalayas. The biggest mountains in the world. Well, as my great uncle Mike used to say, there's no sense sitting around when you can put on your boots and take a hike. Damn, Frizz. Okay, ooh, what do we got? I gotta say how to panda. Giant pandas can only live right here in these bamboo forests because mostly they eat lots of bamboo. Is that an Up to 20 pounds of it a day. That ibex is a kind of wild goat. Kids need hiking boots to make it up mountains like that, but ibexes have split hooves that help them climb. Monkey. What's more fun than a barrel of monkeys? A whole mountainside full of them. The snub-nosed monkey is a very playful social animal. Snow Leopard. I guess he must like to hang okay. out in the snow all, right. all the time. Snow Leopard, he belongs. No, just some of the time. He likes to be in the mountains in the winter and the meadow in the summer. No animal lives higher up in the Himalayas or even the world than the Yak, who is the cattle of the mountains. I don't know. I feel like most of these animals fit where they're supposed to go. I'm sure, like, the birds and the bugs What's are fine. What's that fan do hickey on that hoopoe's head? Hoopoe's open that up when they land on something, or when they're angry or excited. Oh, here she comes. Woohoo! Oh, that was great! <sighs> Ever wonder why mammals fight? For food, of course. But otherwise, most mammals only fight as a last resort. They're trying to establish who's made of tougher stuff. There she goes. Oh, so graceful. That's the fish eating out. And don't tell me, Keish. It eats fish. I always thought you were brilliant, Carlos. Now I know it. 
At my old school, we never At my old field school. trips to visit venomous snakes. Fortunately, although the adder is poisonous, it can't kill humans. Phoebe, you sure know how to make my day. Look at that little red raccoon. It's so cute. Sorry, Arnold. That's not a raccoon. It's a red panda. Cousin to the oh, raccoon I love red pandas. and to the giant panda. And don't get too close. It's very shy. You know, they these these gang all seem fine. I might need a hint. This mammal likes to live alone. Without others of its kind, it likes to roam. Okay. Put on your favorite detective hat and search for a mammal both big and fat. Okay, we're looking for a big mammal. Big mammal and a solitary mammal. South Pacific Island Reef. South Pacific Island Reef. Uh, I can already feel the sea breezes and the smell of the salt in the air. Ah, I can feel the warm ocean breezes of Tonga, the island paradise in the South Pacific. If you remember to pack your inquiring mind and your sunscreen, then you're ready. You know what? To With like this music, be sure to check the music and now the background two. makes There's me think a of a Freddy fish. To explore down there. This music has very Freddy Fish vibes. Okay. The rat! I smell a rat. Or at least I see a rat. The rat! A Norway rat. What in the heck is a rat doing here? All the way from Norway. Many years ago, that rat's ancestors stowed away on boats from Europe that were coming here. When they arrived on the island, they jumped ship. It's a fucking rat. That is one big bat. The Tongan flying fruit That's bat the giant rat that makes all the rules. Feet wide. Watch out, Batman. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Or is it hoggy, hoggy, hoggy? According to my research, pigs are hogs and hogs are pigs. They're the same thing. Only the babies are always called piglets, never hoglets. The blue crown lorikeet is a kind of parrot that's found only in the tropical islands of the South Pacific. Let's go under the water. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Jesus. Wait. You don't belong here. You don't belong here. Right you are! The walrus doesn't belong in the South Pacific. The ocean's much too warm. See if you can find its real home. In the circumpolar Arctic tundra is where that walrus needs to be. He thrives in snow and cold and ice and swimming in the sea. All systems go. Oh, is he gonna go underwater? Oh, there it goes. Bye. Destination circumpolar Arctic tundra. This walrus is ready to go home. Okay, got him. Can we go back down and see that really? Fucked up kid fish again, though. Work. Only one more animal to locate and send home. Hey! Delicious animal detector. This award has been presented to you for your valiant efforts in locating and sending three animals back to their proper habitat. I can't wait to get my printer set up so I can start putting these on my wall. I want to get these framed and put on my wall. Look at this. Uh. What's a fish? Most fish swim in water, breathe through gills, have scales, and swim using their fins. And I don't mean the rubber kind Wanda's wearing. Wanda here, reporting on the green sea turtle. This turtle spends most of its time in warm, shallow ocean water and only comes out to lay its eggs in the sand. Oh, this is this a puffer fish? I think yeah, I think it is. He looks very scrungly right now. Very very squanch. Guess I'm officially a parrot fish, and for the moment I'm living with a school of fellow fish in the coral reef. Bye Liz, bye Liz. Okay. No more weird animals here. Damn, which means I, I missed one. 
There are seven habitats to explore, so try as you might. You won't find a misplaced animal in every place you Hold visit. On. Now I'll tell you one clue more. This is a big wild cat who doesn't roar. Oh, it's one of the fucking cats. Oh shit. Where shall we go? Oh shit, there was a bunch of cats here. Aren't there lions in the African savanna? I knew I should have stayed home today. Back in the savanna again. The place where even the lions are our friend. As long as you don't get too close, of course. How does she afford all this gear and magic school bus on a teacher's salary? Hmm. Are you saying that Miss Frizzle might be doing like a side hustle? Has she got a side hustle? My hunt cheetahs don't roar. The cheetah is the world's fastest animal. For Sorry, I got friends, distracted by the seventy miles an hour. Clue. They have long legs, a flexible spine, and a big heart. If this guy was on the freeway, he'd get a speeding ticket. But cheetahs aren't solitary, so maybe it's you? That big kitty sure looks happy. Big kitty? It is a kind of cat, Arnold, but technically, it's a leopard. Kitties eat food from cans. Leopards eat monkeys. Personally, I'm much happier thinking of it as a big kitty. A big boy. Do you know why jaguars have spotted coats? They help to camouflage them so they're Maybe it's the jaguar? Them. Now, if it were me, I'd like jaguar? to them to I connect know. I think jaguars dogs. are in the jungle, right? They're not in the savanna. Is it you? <laughs> Got me. Well, I go anywhere, anytime. No, I'm not. Frizz is gonna want me. You spotted There we go. That jaguar may look <laughs> Wanda was like, oh, me? But he's not in the right habitat at all. It's much too hot and dry here. Let's see if you can discover where he really belongs. Okay, I... Jaguars are jungle, right? The Brazilian tropical rainforest. That's just where this yes. cat belongs. Now tell me, I would, is it I was really gonna say maybe Himalayas you knew jungle. That all along? Come in, Helen. Look at me. Look how it looks so sad. Yeah, I think Miss Frizzle is beyond the human at this point. Tropical rainforest where it's lush, warm, and wet. Or she could be like double income, no kids. Job. You've returned all of the misplaced animals to their right and proper habitats. And for that, you've earned a certificate of excellence. She Master could be a dink, double, in double income, no kids. Yes! Air, oh, I'm so excited. Achievement and acts of caring and daring in locating and returning all four animals to their native habitat. <laughs> Wonderful. I wish I. Oh my god, it's even signed by Miss Frizzle. Oh man. All four of the animals are present and accounted for. But if you'd like, you can start the game all over and look for four more animals. I have what a printer. It's like. Two and a half feet away from me, but I don't have an open plug to put it in. I've ran out of plugs. So I'm either gonna need like an extension cord or sacrifice one of my plugs to print my my dumb certificate. Uh Okay, you know what? You know what? I can actually do this. Give me one second. I'm gonna set my printer up. Get ready. It's just we're setting up my printer on stream. I wanna print this out. I wanna print this out. One moment. Uno momento, please.
Okay, this does not fit on my this does not fit on my desk whatsoever. I'm like knocking things around, but I'm gonna print out this stupid certificate if it is the last thing I do. So, which one of these things is gonna become unplugged? Okay, okay, I found a USB port. Now I just need to sacrifice a plug down here. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna have to unplug this as soon as I'm done because it's literally taking up my whole desk. <laughs> okay. So I was supposed to say, can you hear the printer noises? Can you hear it starting up? Those chunky printer noises? Don't let that stop your exploration and investigation. There's still a world of animals out there. I don't know what it's doing. It's just making noise right now. Do printers usually make noise for like three minutes? <laughs> okay. I hope I have ink. I just realized I don't know if I have ink. something what are you printing hold on <laughs> hold on it's printing something it's just gonna be like every oh my god it's just gonna be all of the things that i have like backed up in my printer queue from all of these edutainment games Oh my god, it's everything I have stacked up in my printer queue from these edutainment games. It's a bunch of fucking paw prints just printed out from thinking science. <laughs> Hold on, it also dropped onto the floor. I'll be right, I gotta go get it. <laughs> it's a bunch of paw prints and tracks from thinking science. I think this is what I won from doing thinking science. Okay, what's what's next? What's coming up next? Something else. Hold on. What? I hope I have enough. Oh, I run out of paper. That's bad. Okay, wait. I'm running. <laughs> okay, wait. It's yelling at me now. It doesn't like that. Can you hear it? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it better? Here it goes. All right. What's next? What's next? Um. It's. Oh, it's my book that I made. It's my story that I made in Reader Rabbit. Oh shit, it's gonna be every page of this story. Oh shit. Oh no. One day, one day, Baby Bear went to a forest. In a, on a completely separate page, up in the sky, she saw a rainbow. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> New page coming in. At the forest, Baby Bear saw a deer. New, completely separate piece of paper. Baby Bear decided to smell the flowers. Shit. I'm getting like, I'm like wasting so much. I didn't realize that all this was still backed up in my printer queue. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What's this one? Oh, it's my driver's. No, it's my. It's my NFT. My, I just printed out my NFT. Take that, fuck you, it is, it is fungible. <laughs> okay. 
How much have I printed? It's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's still it's still chugging. It's a second copy of my driver's license? Why did I print it out twice? Um, if any does anyone want a copy of my fucked up driver's license that I made today? Because I can I guess send you a copy because I printed out two. Uh Okay. Paper. Finally. Finally what I wanted, which is my certificate of achievement. This certificate states that Callie has successfully completed the requirements for Master Rescue Hero Extraordinaire. Thankfully, I didn't run out of fucking ink before this, which is what I really wanted printed out. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's done. It's done. I, it's done printing things now. Let me count the pages that just printed out. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten pages of things just printed. All of those were backed up for, uh, about three weeks. Because Think in Science was, what, three weeks ago? So that was cool. But now I do, in fact, have my driver's license that certifies me as a wild driver and also my certificate of achievement. So that's great. That's awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it though. I have four pages dedicated to uh, a four sentence story and two pages of animal tracks. And in fact, there's a third fun page that I didn't even realize printed out. Uh, where is it? It's a track puzzle that's great i need a crayon that's so cool so i need to follow the tracks and figure out where they go um i will not be doing that though so that's just going to be a pile of paper over here on my desk which i guess i'm going to recycle at some point that's sick okay well <laughs> um i got what i wanted now i need to unplug this all again because i don't want this just sitting on my desk like move everything off my desk to get this here so lesson learned every single time i hit that printer button and it's gonna stay in my queue until i re hook up my printer so don't let me do that again i'm turning my printer off no i'm plugging uh okay all right that's enough Oh, printer's going away. Printer's going away. Let me roll back up. Okay. Did I get the Yeah, I got the certificate of achievement. I did. I did. It's success. Success. It printed out like... It didn't even print out center on the page. It's like lopsided on the page. So even if I wanted to like frame it, I would have to like cut the paper so it's not weird, but like <laughs> it's it's here. It's in my hand. I have I have an official certificate signed by Mrs. Frizzle and whoever the second person is that I can't read their signature. So that's great. That's super cool. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, now that that is over, let me actually, okay, so, <laughs> good news, my printer still works, and it still has ink confirmed, actually, it might not have ink anymore, seeing as all my, again, they print out, by the way, uh, full page, like, a full page graphic, all of the colors, this wild driver's license is certainly a thing. <laughs> um, and again, two of them. Two of them printed out for some reason. So, you know, when I make it big, obviously when I blow up and make it big, I'm going to keep one to sign. Uh, and then maybe, maybe one day, 
you guys can own a, a copy of my NFT. Wouldn't that be great? And it's even better than an NFT because you can hold it in your hand. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Corlith. Oh, shit. No, I don't want that to happen. Program's like, oh, I see you plugged something new in. Do you want to download a whole new software? No. Well, all right. Um, I think... Let's go back to the bus. Go back to the bus. Go to the back to the back of the bus. What do we got over here? What do we got over here? Uh, oh, this is painting. What is... Oh, that's right. These are all the weird mini games. What is this? Eating down the food chain. Oh, food chain, huh? Food chain is all about who eats what and who eats whom and in what order. Click on the things on the left side of the screen and drag them to the chair in the correct order. Okay, yeah, let, this happens. is fucked up. If Let's learn about. Help, click on the question mark. Yeah, natural selection. You Let's go. And you sit and wait. Then a mouse sits down and goes to town, munching on that nut till it's downward bound. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Am I gonna watch this snake eat this mouse? Make no mistake. Oh. Here comes a snake who swallows that mouse like a rodent cupcake. Oh! <laughs> the food chain's done. When in the out comes, he eats the snake before you count to one. Food chain. I'm loving this food chain rap. Microscopic. Who eats it next? Well, that's the topic. Let's go. Oh, we have to watch this penguin be devoured, by the way. Don't look away. Don't look away. What? Here comes the fish with its eye on the dish. And in one gulp, those copods are pulp. A penguin waddles in. It's stressed to kill, devours the fish till he has his fill. Oh my god, this image of this penguin looking terrified on this plate. Oh boy. Oh boy, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my lord, that was more graphic than I thought it would be. Swallow that bitch whole. According to my research, that uh -oh. apple green. It's really very slimy, if you know what I mean. Next in the chain comes the buzzing mayfly. It's the absolute truth. I surely wouldn't lie. Okay, alright. I hope as a child your favorite animal wasn't like a seal or a penguin, or this is gonna be uh awful for you. Tell me who eats that little mayfly. Looks like the salmon. Gonna give it a try. Salmon dinner sounds tasty to me, but the old sea lion likes it raw, you see. Oh, man. <laughs> By the way, so far in this rap, we've talked about swallowing nuts and liking it raw. Just keep that in mind. Um, rest in peace. At the peak of the chain, Ooh. I'll tell a tale. At the top of this heap is the orca whale. Food chain. Food chain. Food chain. Start with some grass. It looks so delicious. Who do you think will find it nutritious? All right, one more. We gotta do one more. The caterpillar. Yes, you got it right. Watch as that grass goes out of sight. Oh, he. Why does he look like he's waiting for it? He's like, yes. Take it. Then slip it on down. It's yes, slurp me on down. Oh my god! That's the bird wished it stayed home today. Oh my god! The the grabbing? 
think wants to put it in its tummy. Okay, one more. One more, because I have to see this happen. Next to the food chain comes the toucan. They made the toucan. Like, they're making these creatures so cute. Oh, no. Oh, what? I'm sorry. Hold on. You're saying the snake is about to eat this leopard? Is that what you... That's what you're telling me right now? Is this food chain order? I don't know about that, actually. I'm unsure. Keep your eye on the jet war. It's a hungry cat. Gobbles up the toucan and nothing's left. A jaguar? The <laughs> oh, this is a good image. Oh, he knows he fucked up. I don't believe that. <laughs> Food chain, food chain. Oh, this is. Oh, wait a minute. Go ahead and put some grass on the plate. Wait, no, this is gonna be great. I want to see this vulture eat this lion. Moving up the food chain, it's a zebra. Sorry, these are so engaging. And thinks it's out of sight. He's like sitting there, ready to go. When the zebra's not looking, up comes the lion. For the king of the beast, a zebra satisfying. <laughs> this had to feel some like weird boar furry fetish shit for somebody, right? Surely this is. Surely this was the start. Look at this lion. Now at the end of this lion. Okay, okay. Okay, we went through them all. That's <laughs> food chain, food chain. Welcome to Dr. Frankenstein's lab. A place where you can tinker with Mother Nature and create your own creature. Oh, I get to make some Click fucked up beasts. Click on the top of the screen to choose a skin covering, a type of beak or teeth, and limbs for your creature. When you're ready to see what you brewed up, click on the power switch, then presto, you may discover us. Oh, sorry, Miss Frizzle, I got really excited. Um, oh, what, what is that supposed to be? Skunk? Slimy skin, slicing teeth for meat and webbed feet. What? And it all adds up to a slimy salamander. Hey, that's not what I that's not what I ordered. That's not what I ordered at all. Incorrect. Slimy skin, slicing teeth for meat and wings. Oh, that's more like it. Features on that creature. That's more like it. In the wild, but it's looking like a wild thing to me. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Okay, how about this one? Scales, beak for crushing and flippers. Oh come on! Scaly skin sea turtle. No, I want another. I want another beast. Show me another beast. Scales, grinding teeth for plants and webbed feet. No, and you damn it! Created a marine iguana, second cousin to my friend Liz. Okay, all right. We're gonna have to put our heads together here to try and find a different combination of things that don't exist, like feathers. Well, anything with feathers and then real teeth surely shouldn't be real. 
This should be a bad combo, I think. Feathers, grinding teeth, or plants, and fins. You cannot. I was about to say, you can't bullshit me into an answer on this one. I don't think so. That's what I'm talking about. I want all of my animals to be like that. We need to do like more things, more things with feathers, feathers and teeth. Do feathers. No, like flippers and teeth. That can't be something. Feathers, slicing teeth for meat and flippers. There we go. That's more like it. Oh my god, we made a dinosaur. Holy shit. Those idiots at Jurassic Park, they were doing it the hard way. It's that simple, stupid. Dummy. Oh, I know, this is... Just see how they adapt. What is this? To survive in the wild, it takes more than good animal instincts. It also takes teeth and feet. To see what I mean, click on either teeth or feet at the feet? top of your feet? screen. Feet? Did someone on? Did someone say feet on Twitch? Feet? Feet? Some hooved animals can swim for short distances, but hooves are not the ticket for swimming in the water. It looks like this poor rhino is definitely in over his head. Oops. As far as this hooked animal is concerned, living in the trees is for the birds. That fellow's having a bear of a time staying afloat with those curved claws. I can hardly bear to look. <laughs> okay, but bears, bears can climb trees, no problem. Claws aren't the perfect design for charging fast on hard ground. As my great aunt Millie used to say, if there's curve in your claw, you can't cha-cha-cha. That poor duck is headed up a tree, but there's no <laughs> way she can make it. Those flat webbed feet can't cling to the bark or branches. She's going to be in trouble if she doesn't watch out. <laughs> Too late. Oh, well, she can fly, there can't she? Damn. Drag a set of teeth to one of the food cards at the bottom of the screen and watch what happens. Okay, okay, okay. Teeth, it's teeth time. With flat grinding teeth like that, that beaver would have to work all day and then some on a steak like that. All right, uh. With teeth that grind and slice, this raccoon has it made. <laughs> all right, this. Teeth aren't as fun as feet. I said it. There, I said it. Uh, that's Animorphs. These are the games that I played. What is this again? Oh, it's making a picture! Well, you know what we have to do, right? We gotta make the picture. Which one do I want to do? I want to do... If, okay, I'm thinking if I'm going to be printing this one out, which I probably will accidentally do, I want it set on a beach. Want some animals to put in your habitat? First, you have to go back into the wild and find some. Click on an animal out there, and it shows up in here. Easy peasy. I'm about to make the best picture of your life. Pig, 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 and one rat. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm thinking that's looking great. Oh, wait a minute. Let me tell you so you're in the know. Use that tool to make the stickers grow. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not. Use that tool. Have a bowl. It'll make the sticker small. Pig. Pig. Little pig. Smaller pigs. This is the 30 to 50 wild hogs that one guy was talking about. There's the giant hog that makes all the rules. Perfect. Yeah, I'll put that in my printer queue for later. Cool. That'll be a fun little surprise in like a month. Okay. If you want to change your face, that's, this. that's the thing I printed out twice, face, by the way. If you didn't see it. Is the place. Choose a destination for examination. Okay. We went everywhere. We found all the animals. The eminals. So, let's go back to the classroom. We're heading back to school. Finally, my love is turning. Arnold's so happy. There's a rule about going. Oh, she's like, don't go out the window. Hold on, wait. Keep your eagle eyes open so you can be. Wait, I want to hear what she says about going out the window. <laughs> Bring the clipboard, Liz. We'll need it to check the identities of the misplaced animals. Let's take chances, make mistakes, and go exploring to the bus. To the bus, and then immediately back out of the bus. There's a rule about going back into school. Click on the doors because that's what they're for. All right, all right. Not as cool as I thought. I thought she was gonna be like, "Don't go out the window, you fucking idiot." Okay, I think we saw most of this in here too. I just wanted to know if anything changed now that we went on our field trip. I don't think it did. So I'm gonna Are quit. You ready to quit? See you back on the bus another time. And after that. I'm going to quickly shut this down because I'm going to switch back to Reader Rabbit. So we still have Reader Rabbit stuff to do. And I think, oh, Reader Rabbit was... Did I do Reader Rabbit in 98? I'm gonna try Reader Rabbit in. No, I'm gonna try in Windows XP. I can't remember which machine I used. Uh, Reader Rabbit? Gimme, gimme. Up nice and slow. Ooh! Ooh, got a little crispy at the end, huh? That's okay, that's why I run uh this direct X diagnostics thing and it fix it just fixes the sound problem and I don't know why it does that, but it does. Just having it up fixes it. Oh my god, that was so fucking loud on my end. Oh man. Oh, I turned everything up to like listen to the song. Shit.
What's there we happening? go. That was less Why loud. I turned list? it down. I turned it down. You type it in. What? Ooh. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. Go back. Wait. Choose the correct. Okay, no, okay, it's it's where we left hey, off. Daddy. I got really scared that for a second great there. Great camp you have here, Charlie. I like looking around. Okay. I got very afraid that it just started from the beginning. Never mind, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're back to where we're supposed to be. Anyways, welcome back into uh, Read a Rabbit Kindergarten. Your list. We still have to do find six items in the rest of the campsites and then the big item. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Oh, hello? Hello? Screen just went black. Screen just went black and I can't. Figure out how to get that back. Screen is blank. Okay. Let's close down Rita Rabbit. I think I might have fucked around and found out with Rita Rabbit. No, it's, it's still fucked. Okay. Oh god. Could you not... I can't remember. Could you not, like, right-click close? Oh no, we're good. We're, we're fine now. No one question it. You know how to use these arrows to fix the ladder's height. Now there are two more to move it left and right. We're Which fine. Everyone ignore go? what was happening. Click on the arrows or say it into your microphone. Oh yeah, that's right. The microphone that doesn't work. You're so correct. Keep going. The ladder's in the right place. Now you need to make it the right height. Keep going. Keep going. Way to go. Now you can climb up to the bear's den. Oh, right. The ladder's in place. I can visit the bear's den. Okay, if you remember from last time, I am on a quest to get this one mini game Hi, like first bear. try. Let's get some more decorations. Okay, Maddie. But guess what? Papa's asleep again. Okay. Follow me. Attention. The bus just got a flat tire. That will give us a little more time to get the supplies. The alarm clock behind one of those All right. jars. You're I'm going to try and get so this alarm clock this. first I try. I don't think I need to point anymore. The alarm clock is far from column one. Far from column one? Damn it. <laughs> try looking above, row D. Shit. Go between no. column four and column six. Go between row A and S row Screaming C. and crying. Okay. Oh no! He's gone back to sleep! The alarm clock is near column three. Okay. I'm going four right here. The alarm ah. clock is far from row A. No! It's th that was second try though! That was second try though. Spike hit it. Now I can sing my song at the party tonight. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, Jiminy. That found one of the things I hid. <laughs> okay. I thought Try that was going to come last. To the left of column four. Okay. The huh. alarm clock is far from row A. No, go to the left of column two. The alarm clock is near row E. <laughs> oh, 
this game gonna make me lose it? Oh, I'm, I'm all click. I just click all around it. Above row F. Above row F. Try looking to the left of column four. Fuck! Second try again. Are you going to decorate our den too? No, we're going to use this to decorate the campsite for the party. Okay. Papa! Papa! It's time to... <laughs> oh well. Try looking to the left of column four. Okay, I'm going B2. Try <laughs> looking below Damn it. row C. No, go to the left of column two. Oh no, he's gone back to sleep. Try looking to the left of column four. Left column four. I'm going to say E3. E the alarm clock is Shit. far from row A. No, go to the left. Oh my god, two. is it gonna be in E1? The alarm clock is near row E. Ah, fuck. Well, I'll be with you as soon as I finish my little nap. <laughs> Papa, it's summertime. You've been sleeping for months. I get him, though. I get Papa. it. I also would like to sleep for months. <laughs> oh well. Try looking to the left of column four. What a relatable character. Go far from row F. Go between column two and column four. Go above row B. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh no! He's gone back to sleep! The alarm clock is near column three. Okay, near column three is gonna be two or is it gonna be four? I'm gonna go. They always go left. I'm gonna go right. The Fuck. alarm clock is far from row A. Try looking between column three and column. And four. I was right too. And I was right too. So what's going to happen at this party? Lots of fun things. And thanks to Natty, I get to play my ukulele and sing my song. And these decorations will make the campsite look super. Yo, Papa, party! Hell yeah, party! Come fly Feather Airlines. First class seats are still available. All right. Okay. That's four more things. We are Thanks super close. Anytime. Hey, Natty. I'm feeling great. Canoe match. Time for canoe match. I remember this was a pain in the ass. These keys have shapes and easy peasy. Easy peasy. Can't even fucking phase me anymore. I don't I'm oh, not even yeah. trying to use the, the mic front open. anymore. Now I can go down the path. Glad to see you, Maddie. There are lots more canoes to uncover. Follow me. Oh, by the way, the by the way, let's try again. I uploaded the last video that I did, like the last stream that we did with Rita Rabbit and Thinking Science. I uploaded that VOD to my YouTube, my VOD channel, which is basically been abandoned for a very long time because I keep fucking forgetting it's there. Uh, mm, and I, I was making a thumbnail match. for it, right? So I, I googled Rita Rabbit and once again, Google does not fail to bring me sus images within the first few rows of the Google search results. Um, 
and I did in fact stumble across Reader Rabbit foot fetish art, so that was super cool. Thank you so much, Google. 91. I really appreciated that. 88. 59. 19. 19. 19. 95. 95. 88. 59. Oh, shit. 59. 59. 91. 88. Oh, 88's right. Next 88. 88. 91. Yes, I was just trying to find a PNG of yeah. Reader Rabbit. You did it. By just typing in Reader Rabbit. Oh, no. And the like a DeviantArt post now. of Let's the rabbit again. and the lion character showed up. Also, and their Reader feet were very strangely the in the forefront and detailed. And I decided to not question it any further and just kept scrolling. But, you know, Ash super cool. Wolf track. Squirrel, crayfish, crayfish, squirrel. Damn it, that's Elm different. Leaf, raccoon track. Elm leaf, raccoon track. Elm leaf, raccoon track. Ash leaf, wolf track. What this? Ash leaf. Yeah, wolf there you track. go. Crayfish, squirrel. Robin, Oriole. Oh, there's birds. Robin, Oriole. And they're right next to each other. Robin, Oriole. Squirrel, crayfish. Is this no? Is this squirrel, crayfish, or crayfish, squirrel? Crayfish. Uh. Squirrel. Close. Crayfish. But the objects have squirrel. to be in the same place. Crayfish. Tonight. Squirrel. Try again. Squirrel, crayfish. Squirrel, crayfish. Congratulations! Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> I knew you could do it. It's just so... It's one of those things where I just hey, Googled... Hey, it's my poem! Oh, it's his poem. I thought I'd never find it. It's like now when I Googled I Anubis the last time I streamed, and it was just oh, Anubis. Right. No, again, no modifiers. Just like oh, it was just no, Rita Rabbit, no, no modifiers. And out of all of the images one that the time, entire okay? internet can have, of Anubis and Rita Rabbit. Google said, I know what to put on the front page. Hmm. I have to find things that match. And it's definitely Anubis with his whole dick out. Orange triangle, yellow rectangle, green diamond, black circle, blue oval, purple square, purple square, blue oval. Close. Green but the diamond. Have to be black in the circle. Same places to where? Match. Black circle. No. Green yeah. diamond. Close. But the black shapes circle. have to be in the Green same diamond. places. Oh my god, read a rabbit. Shut up. Oh my god, read a rabbit. Shut up. Oh my god, read a rabbit. Shut up. Grim Fangs Ma, thank you so much for the follow. Orange triangle. Sorry, you follow through this rectangle. cacophony of shapes and colors. Purple square. Blue oval. Green diamond. Black circle. Green diamond. Black circle. Purple square. Blue oval. Orange triangle. <laughs> yellow rectangle. This is the worst one because it's like it tells you the shape and the color. Purple square. And I keep Blue forgetting where oval. they all are. Blue oval. Oh my god, Purple now he's going to talk about how they're backwards. Purple square. Blue oval. Purple square. Blue oval. Blue oval, purple square, blue oval, purple square. This sounds like a, you know, like those number stations where all they just say is numbers Orange all the time? This is like rectangle. the shapes and colors version of a number station. Orange triangle, just nothing. Yellow it's rectangle. just n yeah. yellow rectangle, you blue did. circle, blue circle, red what? diamond. It's just There's that. <laughs> it's nonsense. The color, it, yeah, it's a I'll color station. Cover these canoes. <laughs> then I'll get some camping gear. Jesus, okay. On. Oh, this is gonna be good. Like so. On. On. Me. We. So. So. If. 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 Me. 
Me. Is this better or the worst? At least it's quicker. We. We. Yahoo! You it doesn't take a solid 15 it. seconds to say what's on the canoe. Super job. Here are some batteries for the flashlight. Thanks. Oh no. The wind blew the tarps back down. Oh. Let's do it again. Purple no, it's Beautiful. another shapes and colors. White rectangle. Oh fuck, Red give me a circle. break. Give me a break. Green oval. Purple square. Black triangle. Oh. Yellow diamond. Purple square. Green oval. Where was that? Was it? Yellow oh, I diamond. misclicked. Black triangle. Black triangle. Yellow diamond. Green oval. Purple I'm gonna square. Fucking throw up. Purple square. Green oval. Purple square. Green oval. White rectangle. Red circle. White rectangle. Red circle. Yellow diamond. Who keeps Black putting this shit on my canoes? I don't know. Yellow diamond. Black triangle. Green oval. Purple square. Okay. Which one of these was green oval purple square? Was it this? Green oval. Purple square. Okay. Black triangle. Yellow diamond. Black triangle. Yellow diamond. Great! You found all the matches. There goes that window. Can you imagine? Like, obviously, for the kindergartner okay. who's playing this, like, this is fine. Hmm. But for the parents who match. have to sit here and listen to this, do you think this drove them fucking insane? 61. 61. Pretty good. 16. 48. 16. 16. 84. 82. 84. 84. 48. 82. Oh no, that's 82. 48. Oh shit. 48. 82. 82. All right. Great. The, the numbers. All the matches. The numbers and and the words. Great. That's Batteries fine. And the bulb. That's almost everything. All I need is the flashlight. And All I we need is the flashlight. Good night. Whoops! There's the wind. Let's try again. Maybe we should have a more permanent solution to covering these canoes if the wind, like. Robin. Ah. Wolf. Ah. Wolf trap. Ash leaf. Ash leaf. This one's wolf also pretty trap. bad. Sunfish. Clam. Wolf trap. Ash leaf. Ashley. No, wolf I've done trap. it again. Close. Wolf but the trap. objects have Ashley. to be in the same place. Reader Rabbit, shut wolf up, Reader Rabbit. Try Ashley. again. I know, Reader Rabbit. Ashley. Wolf trap. Ashley. Wolf trap. Bluebird. Squirrel. Sunfish. Clam. Sunfish. Clam. Sunfish. The color clam. station is how Elmo fights against the bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie. Bluebird. Squirrel. Bluebird. Squirrel. Are you Elmo's friend? You better be if you know what's Robin, good for you. Wolf. Robin. Wolf. Yahoo! You did it! I'm always friend. Hey, Elmo is, of course, There's my the friend. Wind. Let's try again. B. Okay, one more time. Me. Two. Two. So, B, 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 my, my, so. Shit, we're so. So. They're so. They're me. so. Me. Congratulations. <laughs> I can knew you could do it. I can knew you could do it. What a bright idea, Maddie. You have a flashlight, a bulb, and some batteries. All right. Come fly Feather Airlines. Okay, well, now I get to go to my probably least favorite mini game because it involves math. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Hey, Natty. I'm feeling great. 
I just found one of the party item spy kids. Way to go, Maddie! I knew you could do it! So, fucking pray for me, it's counting. Choose the- This letter makes the sound... That's the correct letter sound! You're on your way! Jump on the turtle to get a ride! Here we go. Oh, right! I can cross the creek now! Alright, time to go! Time to go! Glad to see you, Maddie. There's a lot more trash to clean up. Follow me. Attention! The bus driver fixed the flat tire, and they're heading our way again. By the way, if you're wondering, that library in the background is where I made my story, which I just trash. printed out on example, four separate pieces when of paper. I say, make a group of five cans. You click on a group of three cans and a group of two cans to make a group of five cans. Click on the trash to move it by reader's boat. When you have the correct amount, click on the next. Reader will scoop I have a cool idea, reader. Why don't we just clean up all Maddie, the trash? You are, Maddie. Let's make a group of five bottles. I think that'd be pretty, pretty dang good if we just did all the trash. Huh? Let's make a group of five bottles. Was that? Good work. Oh, Four I had to click on Rita Rabbit. I thought for a second somehow I couldn't count to five. Bottle. I was Makes really starting to doubt myself. Five bottles. Let's make a group of six cans. I was like, that is that is five, right? The definition of five hasn't changed. Let's make a group of six cans. Six cans. Okay. Huh? Oh. Good work. Don't Four look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> two cans makes a group of six cans. Let's make a group of six boxes. Good work. Five boxes. And one. I box definitely didn't like this. Makes a group of I definitely just didn't boxes. count the six wrong. Let's make a group of five bottles. No, I did not. Good work. If you Four thought I did, I didn't. Bottles. And one bottle makes a group of five bottles. I'm going to put this trash into those recycling bins. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. It is so easy. Hey, what am I gonna get? There it is! A book! My songbook! I've been looking for that! This can't be happening! Matt's found three of the things I hit! I hope you'll sing us a song at the party tonight. Ready when you are, Maddie. I'm dead serious, Let's though. I think this groundhog or whatever, I think boxes. they're in on it. He's the one who's been finding everything. Let's make a group of two boxes. Good work. One box. I technically haven't found shit. It's been this groundhog. Box makes a group of two boxes. Let's make a group of five bottles. Good work. Four bottles and one bottle makes a group of five bottles. Let's make a group of nine boxes. Oh boy, we're busting out the big numbers. Okay. Big number Good alert. Work. Five boxes and four. If this starts going to the double digits, I'm screwed. Nine boxes. Let's make a group of nine bottles. What's nine plus ten? Hooray! You found the right amount. Five bottles and 
four bottles makes a group of nine bottles. Thank you. Thank you. Way to go. Look at all this trash we picked up. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. Okay. What do we got? Job. Let's start you out with a swimming mask. Oh, a hey. swimming mask. I was wondering what that was. Are we gonna do some scuba oh, diving? No. We didn't get everything. One more time, okay? Ready when you are, Maddie. Let's make a group <laughs> of four cans. Yes, we are still counting, and in fact, we're gonna do it, I think, two more times. What did you say? Let's make a group of four cans. Four, gotcha. Good work. Three cans and one can makes a group of four cans. Let's make a group of six boxes. Six boxes on it, Chief. Good work. Five boxes and one box makes a group of yeah, speaking six of, um, boxes. Talking about this, uh, apparently that thing at the bottom is swimming mask. Apparently. Let's make a group of apparently. nine bottles. Uh, reminds me of the new, Hooray! it was like, it's a new you game that came right out now. that's supposed to be like Eight a scuba diving, a spooky scuba diving bottle. game. Makes a group of nine bottles. And I was I was looking at it because I was also looking at Pizza Tower, which also showed boxes. up. They're yeah, both on the Steam homepage. And I I don't know, like I also I don't know what she said. I think she said ten. Did she say ten? Anyone know what number she said? I was not I was talking over Let's her. Let's make a group of eight boxes. She said eight. Okay. Good work. Anyways, Six what I was saying is that I was I was like looking at the uh, little boxes. trailers that they put out. I don't know. Group of eight Maybe I'm just boxes. not afraid of the ocean, but it didn't seem very scary. It was too bright to me. The game was just too Good bright work. to be a scary sure underwater game. Trash cleaned up. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. Like for me, the spookiness of the ocean comes with like you murkiness and depth and, and not being able to see in front oh, of your face. Boy. I'm almost ready to jump in the lake. But when you're like ten feet under the surface Whoops. and you can see the sunlight, I don't think it's very scary. To pick up. Let's try it again. Ready when you are, Maddie. Let's make a group of ten bottles. There we go. That's that's the big number. Ten. Good work. Eight bottles and two bottles makes a group of ten bottles. You got a scary underwater game? I listen, boxes. I don't think I find the ocean super spooky. I did some Nautica, totally fine. And uh I got through all of Soma. Like pretty decently fine. The things in Soma that scare me was not the ocean. Let's it was like a group of nine boxes. It was it was the things inside of everything that sucked. I not do three, huh? Hooray! You found the right amount. Eight boxes and one box makes a group of nine boxes. Let's make a group of six cans. Uh, six. Good work. Five cans and one can makes a group of six cans. Yeah, I don't know. I find I found Subnautica for the most part very pretty. Boxes. Hooray! You found the right amount. There were definitely some the, some spooks and scares, but it was mostly when something like snuck up on you. A group of ten boxes. Actually, you know what? The scariest thing about Subnautica was running out of air. I'm going to put this trash that freaked me the fuck out. Bins. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. Wow! I bet 
bet you can swim real fast with those fins. Thanks, Reader. Now I can go snorkeling after the race tomorrow. Hey, Gopher. Thanks for taking these snorkeling supplies back to the campsite. Oh, it's Gopher. I think Gopher's Better in on Airlines, it. Airlines, at your service. I think Gopher knows what's up. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Hey, Natty. I'm feeling diner great. Diner lineup. I just found I'm feeling diner lineup. Way to go, Maddie! I knew you could do Counting it. Lake. I knew you could Counting Lake. The game you're going to suggest involved Let being trapped in a cage and pitch black while so fending off sharks. Set. I don't know if I was in the pitch black, I would I would want to stay in the cage. Cage sounds like a great that place to be. Fits. Hey, I fixed the stairs. Now I can go inside. Oh, Matty! Follow me! Okay, time to do some sorting. Oh, my little Matty! I'm so glad you've come back to help me! Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most liquid. Okay, they're trying to... They're trying to throw me off with different liquid colors, but I... I am too smart for that. Superb! Delivery! We can do it! Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From most strawberries to fewest strawberries. I am too smart for your trickery. Perfecto! Oh, he found his banjo. Now I can sing my song for you and all the campers at the celebration tonight. Oh, merci. Oh, no. Well, she won't find all of them. Oh, my little Matty. He didn't sound very convinced. To help me. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. Oh, shit. They're switching up with three, li three liquid colors. Okay. To least liquid. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From most liquid to least liquid. Oh, oh wait, I did it backwards. Try again. Remember. Shut up. Shut up. Glasses I know. I know. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Shut up. End. Glasses with a little liquid on that end. I'm viciously clicking him. The talent be quiet. Okay. Superb. Food for Chef Pierre! Oh boy, here we go! Please help me. Again, this guy doesn't cook shelf. any. This dude doesn't fucking cook From a single thing. Of the only thing he's got is liquids and fruit slices. He's straight up. Where? Hey, here. Do you even have a. He doesn't, he really, I mean, he doesn't have a kitchen in this oven. There is no kitchen in here. For my friend Matty, I have some apples. Hey, thanks. That'll be a good snack. Here's your order. Oui, oui, let's go. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From least liquid to most <laughs> liquid. Okay, all right. Most. Least. This time I will not fuck it up by not paying attention. Superb. Oh, they're see they're trying Food to fuck Chef you up Pierre. the size of the glasses oh, too. I don't boy, here we go. Again, too too Please smart for that. Let me put all of these on the shelf. From most liquid to least liquid. Most to least, making sure I'm not just blanking out and doing whatever. Okay. Okay. This time I have some juicy oranges for you. Oh, juicy oranges! Thank you so much. Delivery. We can do it. Please help me put all of these. You aren't doing anything. 
from most liquid to least liquid. He's absolutely useless. I'm the one putting all the stuff up here. Food for Chef Pierre. Oh, that's right. He does also have canned goods. That's correct. Please help me put all of these on the shelf. From shortest to tallest. I think that is shorter than that. It's shorter than that. It's shorter than that. It's shorter than that. Magnifique. Bananas? Oh, and fucking called it. Some bananas. Thanks. That's very appealing. Oh. <laughs> appealing. I get it. <laughs> that is very funny. <laughs> All right. Airline at your Almost service. done. Almost done. We got one more game. And that's number lumber. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Hey, Natty. I'm feeling great. New match. I do. These two children are not talking to each other in the same conversation. One of these piles has a board for each space. Choose the right one, and they'll go into place. Pick a number by clicking on it or saying it into your microphone. Five. That pile has just the right number of boards. Good work. The bridge is fixed. Now I can cross it. All right. Oh, that's sad. Oh, the frog over there looks so sad. Hi, Babs. Good this frog down here Babs. also looks I so sad. More supplies, and I need to plant more trees. You ready, partner? Yep. Follow me. Attention! The bus just stopped for the campers to get ice cream. Oh, yum! <laughs> Chocolate chip's my favorite. Here's a Why don't uh, we don't get ice cream? Seeds. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead, choose a number. Hmm. I wonder what happens if Babs lands on one of those patches of grass. I I, I don't want to know. No thanks. Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Oh. I made I made a mistake. Take five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Oh, you fuck. Okay. Take one jump. One. Hey, a shortcut. What sort of bullshit is this? Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Do another four. Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Hi, hi. <laughs> I think she's my favorite character, by the way. I love her. Take four jumps. One, two, Babs. <laughs> Here's a great pack of tree seeds. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead. Choose a number. Okay. Uh, oh shit, they're gonna make me... They're, oh, they're gonna do... Wait, hold on, I can go this way. One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go Take six. Six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two. Take two jumps. One. Two. Hey, look at me. Okay, how much would six be? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go six. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four. Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Yeehaw, here we go. What do we find? Well, ghost can stories. You believe it? Here's my special book of ghost stories. 
I wrote all the scary stories we've ever told around Oh my the god, wait, I also now wrote a story. My favorite story at the park. Mabs, tonight. did you know that I also wrote I'll a story? Hold on. Of the show. Hold on, let me grab my story for you. Oh no. Well, she won't find all of them. I did find all of them. Dummy. Here's a great pack of tree seeds. You fucking fool. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead. Choose a number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's no five. Take no four. four jumps. One, two, three. In case you four. didn't hear it before, here's my sick ass poem. Not a poem, never mind. My sick ass story Take one that I jump. wrote. I am also an hey, odd four. A shortcut. <clears throat> it's called Callie's Reading Book, by the way. Take three jumps. It says, one, one day, two, Baby Bear three, went hey, to the forest. Look at me. Up in the sky, she saw a rainbow. Take three jumps. One, two, at the forest, three, hey, Baby hey, Bear hey, saw a deer. Get ready for this. Here's the big finale. Baby Bear decided to smell the flowers. And that's it. That's the end of my story. Isn't it great? Take six jumps. One, Nominated for all two, the awards. Three, four, five. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It says on the. Wait, I'm on the air. Pack of tree seeds. Wait, when the, when the fuck did this on the air get here? Go ahead. Choose a number. I mean, the numbers are gonna work. Four. 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 Damn it. Take four jumps. I four, thought for sure two, that meant that something was three, working. Four. Hey, a shortcut. Take two jumps. One, two. Hey, look at me. Proud of you, Babs. Take one jump. One. Take two jumps. It must be one, listening to something. Two, Is it not listening hi, to my hi. microphone, though? <laughs> Take five jumps. One, two, three, four. Bye. What are you listening to? A camera. Of course, you'll take a picture of me sometime, won't you? Oh, absolutely, sure, Babs. Babs. You've got a great smile. Here's a great pack of tree seeds. I'm ready when you are. Go oh, ahead. God. Okay. Choose a number. Uh, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Take four jumps. We'll go here. One, two, three, four. Hey, a shortcut. Take five jumps. One, two. I think what gets three, me most about this four, is that she is definitely. Five. I mean, you are a, a beaver, Babs. Just. Take five jumps. Could you do me a solid and just One, swim it? Two, three, four, five. Hi, hi. <laughs> Take five jumps. One, two, three, four. Right on to her jet ski. Thank you. Also, you know, hey, Babs, you know what you could do? Hey, Babs, Here's consider this one. Pack of Drive your. I'm ready when you fucking are. water jet Go to the ahead. other side Choose of the river. Don't park it on the other side of the river. What are you doing? Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Hey, a shortcut. Take Babs, one you're jump. killing me here. One. Hey, look at me. Take six jumps. One. Two, three, four, five, six. 
Oh, God, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, we can do six. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one more. Take one jump. One. Oh, okay. And here's a case for carrying your camera. So okay, it camera. Camera case. Okay. What's the last Here's item? It's gonna be like a pack of tree seeds. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead. A tripod. A number. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we went past it. That's fine. Six. We can do another six. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Take I got to make sure this doesn't land on the turtles. The turtles are danger. One, two, the turtle will set us back, three, and I don't want that. Four. Six. We Take do not like turtles. Alright, this should be the last. This one should be the last one. Here's a great pack of last number lumber. I'm ready when you are. Go ahead. Choose a number. Take four jumps. One, two, three, four. Hey, a shortcut. Take six jumps. Which is good because I am One, exhausted two, of learning. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's go. Oh, no, we'll go. Take we'll just keep jumps. going with six. One, Babs, two, you're going the long way. Sorry. Three, four, five, six. I'm bad at counting. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Take six jumps. One, two, three, four. All right, Babs, Whee! give me that item, please. This lens oh, will make small the lens. things okay. look large. You can take close-up pictures from far away. <laughs> Great! What a picture album I'm going to have. Come fly Feather Airlines. First class seats are still available. Okay. Alright, we did another round. We got everyone's stuff back. Thanks for the ride. Anytime. Hey, Maddie. I'm feeling great. I just found one of the party items Spy Kid. Way to go, Maddie. I knew you could do it. All right, before we go, though. Hey, let's go to the camp dance hall. Welcome one more jam. Dance hall. Click on one of the Pure buttons to play your favorite song. All right, time to hydrate. And don't forget to dance along. <laughs> I think we did all of the jams. I think we already did all of the jams. I know we did the this one, and this one, and this one. And I'm pretty sure we did like these two. Does anyone remember if we did not any of these jams? I can't remember if we did the seasons one. There's some jams. You know what? I want to do this one again because it's my favorite. I I love this mean, mean, nasty, awful porcupine. I love him so much. So we get to do his theme song. Oh no, they did it! My plans foiled again. 
You may think I'm not so nice, but before you do, think twice and listen to this sad, sad song of mine. My I love him. Lena says only because I'm sad and lonely. No one wants to hug a porcupine. I'm covered all with stickers from my feet up to my fingers, and when someone bumps into me, they sure know it. So everyone avoids me. It really does annoy me and makes me feel crabby, and I show it. Imagine what it's like to be someone prickly like me and have folks needle you all the time. <laughs> needle, get it? <laughs> so I like to pop their bubbles and cause them lots of troubles because no one wants to hug a porcupine. It's so good. It's such like a classic villain song. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's it's a villain song that goes too hard to be in Rita Rabbit Kindergarten. It's so good. But okay, all right. With that, would you hug a porcupine? I would. I would. I'd I'd make sure I have an extra thick jacket on, and I'd I'd give him a, a a nice hug. Okay. We are going to. Close that out. And head on over to our end screen. Yeah, the villains aren't born, they're made. So true. So true. Dude just needs a hug. Dude just needs someone with like a, a thick set of armor and a hug. And he'll he'll be fine. He'll be fine. So let's see who is on. But thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I super appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got... I got quite a few people I can raid on into. This might be tough. This is actually kind of tough. There's a lot of people on right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, so what is, okay. Um, someone, Vil, uh, VTubers I love, is playing Placid Plastic Duck Sims. They're like the only other person I've ever seen actually playing that game besides me. It's such a good game, though. It's it's a nothing game, but I love it so much. So they're playing Duck Sim. Grim is playing Resident Evil Four. Nico's doing Undertale. Oh, Gloop Queen's doing Pizza Tower. Oh, wait, I, well, I can't, I can't raid into Pizza Tower because I'm going to do Pizza Tower. I ha I'm going to do Pizza Tower. I can't, I can't spoil it for you guys. I want to do it. So no Pizza Tower. Marin's live? Fuck, there's so many people live. Okay, I'm going to do... I'm going to pick one at random so I don't sit here all day and just, like, fucking twiddle my thumbs over who to raid. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do Grim. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I've seen Grim. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm going to go and annoy the shit out of him, I guess. So. With that. Let me set up a raid message real quick. Okay. Oh, it has to be something. 
has to be something antagonizing because it's grim. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I know I want to use my, my fucking gun emote for him. You know what, actually? <laughs> I was about to say, what if our raid message was just the gun emotes? No message, just... What if it was just that? I know that won't work for oh well that won't for no, work for non subs though. Fuck. There needs to be there needs to be some words. There needs to be some words. How about Here comes trouble. For anyone who doesn't have the guns, you can have a here comes trouble, because that's true. Here does come trouble in the form of me and my chat. If you have your own gun emojis, you can absolutely substitute For whatever emoji you'd like. There you go. We're raiding over to Grim. So, while we are counting down, thank you guys again so much for sticking around and watching me play some baby games. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Magic School Bus. There are so many Magic School Bus games, if that's something that is interesting and you guys want to, like, see more Magic School Bus. Uh, I'm thinking of doing some jumpstart games. I know Lido doesn't like the third grade one, but it actually looks the most interesting. So we'll see. And uh, I got some other things. I also uh, let me know if watching some old 80s, 90s, 2000s uh, educational and instructional VHS tapes sounds like something interesting to you because I have so many of those in my, my disposal now we could just watch. And I think they're all kind of free real estate because they're so old. Um, <laughs> so let me know. I might make a stream out of that. And other than that, I'll see you on Wednesday for Forewarned. And Friday, if it works out, for some pizza tower. So get ready for some pizza pasta. All right. All right. Time zones up. Good night, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your night. And I will see you when I see you. Bye, 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 bye. See ya.